Ed Bloodsworth with your first alert storm team forecast. All right, another hot day on the Gulf Coast and we haven't developed too much rain today for this very reason. The water vapor imagery still showing a lot of dry air aloft, not as dry as we were at this time yesterday, but dry enough to really put a uh, cap on most of the storm activity. But we have developed a couple little showers here. We actually have a frontal boundary, which is starting to the process of stalling out just off the coast, and this is providing us with just enough lift in our atmosphere to give us a couple little rogue showers. You see here near the Gateswood community in Baldwin County, it's already falling apart and anything that we see for the rest of the day likely not going to last long. Now a little shower there popping up on south of Fort Barrancas that's moving out into the Gulf of Mexico and we may see a few more of these here. Our weather predictor actually paints in more showers here. Now I think it may be overdoing it just a little bit, but you'll notice that I'm going to leave in about a 10 to 20% rain chance this evening for South Baldwin County, Northwest Florida, perhaps as far north as Bruton and Atmore but the rest of the area will likely stay on the quiet side tonight. Right now, scattered clouds from USA Health Providence Hospital. That's a live look in from the All In Credit Union camera today. Over to Orange Beach. We've had beautiful views this afternoon. A lot of boat traffic today from our sweat tires cam pointed towards Perdido Pass. And over to Pensacola International Airport, got some thin clouds looking off to the west or east rather I should say, and some blue skies overhead. Tomorrow we introduce a 20% chance that your Green and Phillips umbrella will be needed. Forecast looks like this, 87 by 9 p.m. tonight, 7 a.m. tomorrow, another mild or humid start, and then by 4 p.m. we'll develop that small shower chance. Temperatures, though, still very, very warm at the middle and upper 90s coming our way. In the tropics, we have a tropical wave in the central Atlantic. Actually looking pretty impressive. A lot of shower and thunderstorm activity associated with it. But we do anticipate the environment will become conducive for further development of this system. In fact, it's likely by early next week we could be talking about a tropical depression, maybe even a tropical storm approaching the lesser and greater Antilles. That is expected to become the next named storm. We're going to talk a little bit more about that system in greater detail in the next half hour. 96 is your current temperature in Mobile. It's 88 right now in Fairhope. A little bit of a wind coming off the Bay this afternoon. It's 95 in Evergreen, 90 for Pensacola. It's amazing what the sea breeze does for our coastal communities. You didn't have that yesterday and it kept you pretty hot, but now you're starting to get a little relief as that uh, boundary moves inland. But if you're not feeling the breeze out there, Heat indices are still running around 105 to 110 for many locations, and those heat advisories continue today. Weather predictor, not again, not a ton of rain expected tonight, just a couple pop-ups here and there. Now you'll notice as we move into Saturday afternoon, the best rain chance will be right along that sea breeze collision zone, so along and south of I-10. If you're inland tomorrow, you may be a little less humid, but you will not get a lick of rain to cool you down tomorrow, so temperatures will be warm for everyone. 97 for Saturday. Saturday, Sunday morning lows in the 70s. Temperatures could get even hotter next week, perhaps 98 degrees. Some areas coming within arm's length of 100 and the rain chances will pick up a bit by to 30 and 40% as we head towards the middle of next week.